got fucking nervous. The time has come. I'm always excited to play. This is Justin here. I hope you enjoyed the little intro there. Um, today we're gonna we're gonna talk about something long awaited, long awaited. I ordered this a long time ago, probably early this year, and I got it about uh, I say August six or August tenth, somewhere around there. And um, here it is. It is the Archangel Blades. Okay, the Archangel Blades. FCC or FFC one prototype and uh, comes with this little card here Anthony over at uh, Archangel Blaze was kind enough to really hook me up. He is a uh, based I believe out of somewhere near Chicago um, And um, yeah, I just really want to just open this up and, and get to the point here. Okay, so I'm not gonna dilly-dally but yeah, here we go. Crucible. It's made out of the steel, of course. It's Crucible CMP 154. Um, the it's a flat grind, a full flat grind. I just can't wait to show you guys. I'm just stalling at this point. But um, yeah, sculpted flats, brass with titanium backspacer. It's gonna have it's gonna have black chain ring bolts. It comes with a little lanyard with a skull bead. Um, and yeah, it comes with this awesome husky case. So here it is. Here is the Archangel Blades FFC1 that I've been waiting for for so long. Originally designed by Anthony. There's no copycatting of any kind. Comes in this nice case, like I said. Leather work also done by none other than Kevin over there at Custom Leather. You can find him on Instagram. And there's Kevin Lillard, you can see that at Custom Leather. And in Archangel Blades, you can see right here, IG, um, at Archangel underscore Blades. And here it is, right here. Boom. Doesn't it look awesome? Wow, I've been waiting a long time for this. And there it is from the beginning to the end. And I put in some pictures in the intro to show you kind of the process and progress over the months um, of the designs and all of the thing, all of the times that we've kind of changed things. And uh, here, let me get this stuff out of the way here. Right there, buddy. And there it is. Let me get a little close up here. Yeah, looks awesome. Kind of that burnished bronze look on it. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome blade shape. I like that hook on the top here. This this looks really, really great. Um, it's kind of chewed out, grinded out right here. Um, you can see he did a great job with the finish. Um, man, he did a great job. Got a little... Got a little uh, kind of ergo grip there. I don't know if you'd call it, it's not really a choil, but um, yeah, it's just, it's pretty ergonomic. I'll tell you, this is a custom piece, okay? This is fully custom. You're not gonna see a lot of features that you would see on, let's say, something like the amazing right there, the Endura. And there's a size comparison too. It's actually kind of close. Um, for size, let me get my ruler out. As you know, this is about eight and a half inches for the Endura. And uh, over here, it's gonna be about eight and a quarter inches for the FFC1. So there's your little measuring stick there. But yeah, man, look at that. I'll give you some macro views of it. See if I can get it to focus. Uh, 
this close right there. Look at this. Polish, see that kind of polish the front there. Looks awesome. This thing is heavy, dude. I don't even know how, how heavy it is. It's like heavier than any knife. It's hard, it's it's literally hard to carry, but look at that. Sculpted titanium back spacer, anodized, flame anodized to the purples and blues, and then you can see in here he matched it to the brass. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but but yeah, it's in there. You can catch the light right there, see it? He flame anodized that just to you know match the brass. Tension to detail on this blade for sure. I'm gonna give you another side, and of course his stamped Archangel Blades logo right there. Looks great, and look at that raptor claw or dragon claw um, design. And that's really what I was going for. I told him uh, that I like, I really like, uh, sorry for the really annoying gardener out there. But um, yeah, I told him I liked a lot of the, the current stuff being done out there in the custom field. And uh, he was very happy to oblige me on some of the styles that I liked from the ground up process. Um, haven't really tested it on uh, on any on anything yet. Honestly, it's a beautiful blade. But yeah, CMP154 takes a little, um, took a little engineering to, let me pull this out. Took a little engineering on his part to kinda do the 154. Took a little, also a little engineering to pull off the brass. I did ask for brass. It's a very unique piece and uh, it looks like, I wanted something that was like dragon skinish, something that was prehistoric looking. And this guy's ruining my video right here, seriously. He's singing the song of his people right now. My gosh. Anyway, hope he goes away very soon. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't. All right, sorry about that. Um, now that th that was over, we're gonna continue. But yeah, I really like the blade. I think it's pretty cool. Um, he wasn't able to mount a clip to it. I really wanted a pocket clip so that I could avoid using uh, a holster, but he threw this in for free, which was really awesome since he couldn't tap the, tap the metal to do it. So I really appreciate that. Kevin did a great job at matching the brass. Um, and he was, we were emailing back and forth and he was telling me, oh, I don't know if I can match it. You know, it's kind of hard to find. So, but you know, overall he did a great job. He ended up coming through for me, which I really appreciate. Um, this blade is awesome. Yeah, man. I don't know what else to say about it other than look at the design features. Look at the, the, the engineering. This thing is sturdy. It's hefty. Um, the process, let's talk a little bit about the process of, of getting a custom knife made. Um, the process was tough, okay? Actually from, there was a few revisions that were unexpected on my part. I was like, whoa. Um, on his end, I was like, whoa. Um, you know, I was kind of like, whoa, don't change it. I really love what you did. And we kind of went back and forth with that. But he's the artist, you know. Uh, he knows what he wants to do. He knows what's going to look good in the end, and you kind of have to trust him. So it's kind of a balance between getting what you want and letting him do what he wants. Because at the end of the day, he's you're 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 asking for a piece of him. You know, you're asking for a piece of his art, and he pulled it off. Um, that was a really cool. It was a really cool process. It was a long process. Man, I don't want to go through it again. Um, it was so much waiting and I literally, it literally was me growing very patient and having to grow my patience because it, it just took a lot because I was so excited and, um, so energetic about getting the knife, emailing, emailing, you know, and, and really probably annoying them like, Hey dude, I want to change this. Or what do you think about this idea? Hey, can you do a sculpted backspacer? Can you do this? Can you do that? And, um, he really was very happy to have me as a customer and happy to oblige me in all of the requests that that I made. So yeah, he was he was very cool about it. I highly recommend him. Um, great price on it. Uh, it's gonna be 270 out the door, including this, which is probably 80, $80. Um, so a really great knife. 
uh, the process was challenging on my part and on his part because then at the end of the day, I'm like, hey, dude, I'm paying for this. I really want this feature. And he's like, okay, I'll change it if that's what you really want. You know, we're having that discussion on different steels, on different materials for the, for the, for the handles. And, you know, there's certain things that he liked. He was like, dude, this would be kind of cool. But then there's some things that I like. I was like, dude, I really want this. So this is the end result of two people collaborating, two people collaborating on a knife. And he is the one obviously put a lot more effort into it, but I kind of knew, I kind of had a vision. He had a vision and meeting that together is pretty cool. And that's what it, um, that's what happened here. So here is a, here's the little bee that it came with. Pretty cool. Appreciate just the little things, you know. Just appreciate the little things that that he did to to make my time make make my make my experience you know good. And I'd like to also point out that he added this and it says date of completion. Originally sold to Justin Alvarado. Uh, his little signature, basically a certificate of authenticity, and that's really cool. And it says prototype there, which is really cool. And so I literally own a piece of his company's history. Um, and also this knife has been featured on his Instagram page and if you just just as a you know title page or just as a title kind of a a title picture for some of his giveaways so it's very very cool and his prices are amazing um, honestly the prices are really great comparatively speaking people want a lot more for a lot less I also ordered a custom uh, knife from another um, another knife maker on Instagram and that didn't turn out so well and actually it was a semi custom knife with some custom features to it I got the knife and I said oh this is this isn't that great the finish was wearing off um, he hadn't perfected his processes yet in in design and application for the knife and, and so I literally had to send it back and and he was distraught over it I was a little distraught over it. I just, but I needed a refund, unfortunately, which is really sad to, to do. And you never want to do that. But you know, at the end of the day, you're a customer, and they need to give you what you want. And so that's a, definitely something that I would consider, um, necessary in the custom knife world. You need to stand up for what you want, and. Um, if you're not happy, they can fix it. That's their responsibility. That's your job. It's half, literally half of the, the job is customer service with the custom knife makers. So I really want to emphasize that uh, for you guys. But yeah, I really like the blade. He did a great job marketing. As far as marketing, he gets you excited about his product. As far as his brand, his um, he's building up his brand's image. Um, what else could I say about it, man? It's it's a really nice blade. The There would be some things I would change about it. I could kind of go into that. I would change, um, I probably wouldn't pick, have picked brass because he, he's not that experienced in, well, I can't say personally if he wasn't that experienced, but by the look of this, this is supposed to be anodized. And what he did was he, or patinaed, and what he did was he kind of patinaed it and then he flame anodized over it. And I wasn't really sure if that was common in the knife community, custom knife maker community to do that. I'm not a custom knife maker, but I haven't seen that around a lot. So I will say maybe that would be something that could have been changed. Um, I would have not picked brass because brass, I guess, is very difficult, especially because it looks golden when you get it. It looks like a shiny piece of gold and you kind of have to do a lot to get it where you want it. So. Um, but I think it looks cool. It looks like bra brazened dragon skin or something like that. Like it was burnt. Um, it kind of melted, which is kind of a cool look. Um, it goes very well with the overall kind of theme of the blade. Um, and so this review really is mostly about, about art, I guess, in a way. It's about his interpretation and his design abilities to to give you what you want and to give you something that's cool and to have it, it to have its own style. And I think he's pretty good at that. So that was a really cool feature, um, a really cool aspect of, of working with him. He's an artist. So yeah, it's a really, it's a really cool knife. And, um, let me go ahead and 
straighten it out for you and then I'll give you kind of one last comparison. Um, one thing that I, I probably would have changed a little bit is you can see how it's so, it's such a high angle, which is kind of, a, it's at a weird angle. I probably would have asked for more of a kind of a kidney shaped or more kind of a, instead of it going like so far at an up angle right here, I would have probably asked for it to kind of keep straight or kind of come, kind of maybe arch and come back down. That would have been something a little different that he could have done, but that's okay. So definitely okay. And here, boom. This is a, another knife that you guys may have known from my other reviews or just because it's a generally popular knife in the knife community, the ZT0560. And as far as weight's concerned, 0560 is, I would say, if you just had both of these knives together, this knife still weighs more. Just to like even prove to you more how much this knife weighs, I don't even know how many ounces it is. But it is a heavy beast, and I don't carry it a lot because it's so heavy. Um, I wish I could carry it a little more, but that's okay. It's my only fully custom piece. I'm happy with it. Um, I would say at a scale of, you know, percentage-wise, uh, happiness rating, I'd give it the whole, uh, okay, let's rate his customer service first. His customer service, I would say he's probably a nine out of 10. I give him a nine out of 10. There are certain things that were like, okay, it's a little difficult, having some difficulty here, but we overcame it, nine out of 10. His design, blade shape, look at that blade shape, definitely. Design, yeah, 10 out of 10 for the blade. I kind of pushed for this, for the, for the, for the scale look, so uh, I'll give it an eight out of 10, because maybe he could have, it wasn't his specialty. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Okay, but it's decent and it, it actually looks really cool. Um, price, 10 out of 10, of course. Great price. Um, what else could I rate? Uh, packaging and everything like that. The whole process, great. 10 out of, 11 out of 10, because the other custom knife maker that I went to did not do that. It just came in a regular old plastic bag, which was kind of disappointing especially for the amount of money I paid, which was about 250 and this was 270 So I got a lot more from Anthony than I did from any of the, you know, from the other custom knife maker. So I just really want to encourage you guys, if his books are open, grab a spot um, and go for it. But no, and kind of like know what you want, think about it, and he can make it happen for you. But stand firm on the, the specific features that you want and the things that you kind of could be flexible on, be flexible with them. Okay, so that is the Archangel Blades FCC1. Right there. Great blade overall. Let me give you just a one last sentimental look at the blade. Yes, I own this and it is not for sale. And I don't think I'll ever really sell it unless he becomes like super famous and uh, I, I'm willing to part of the knife. But that would be years from now much later in the future but overall great knife great experience can't complain and for the price dude worth it 100 percent get in there get your custom knife made and if you see a spot open take it all right guys we'll hope you and hopefully can't speak you enjoyed this custom knife uh video the first ever on youtube review of the archangel Bla any archangel blades knife i think and specifically the Archangel Blades FCC1 prototype. Boom, right there, I own it, no one else does. That's the best part of owning a custom knife. Uh, you know, your knife is, could be famous one day, you know? So, excellent quality, excellent knife. Can't say enough about it. All right, guys, well this is Justin's uh, channel here, the 8-7 channel, please, like the video, this was a long, long time in the making and it took me a long time to get this video right, at least the, the, the editing part, so give it a like at least, thumbs up, uh, subscribe below, all right, and uh, please leave your comments below if you wanna discuss anything, have any other questions, definitely let me know. Alrighty, this is Justin87 out.